Hey there, I'm Carrie Lawless. I'm Natalia. And we are Designaholics. On today's DIY, we are gonna transform this fireplace wall behind us into a masterpiece. It's gonna be beautiful, stay with us. this transformation. So one of the things we did was there was that shiny brass fireplace screen thing and it just wasn't going with the vibe we're going with. So we pulled that off. That was a challenge, right? Yes. That was, that was fun. Funny. Yeah. But we did it. Um, Natalia did cut her finger, poor thing. <laughs> and then um, we got all that nasty black soot that was all, you couldn't see it before because it was behind the cover. Took the cover off, scrubbed that really good. And not sure what we're gonna do with this, probably paint it white, but once we get this whitewashed, we'll figure out what to go, what to do from there. All right, I'm gonna show you how we mix the paint. The ratio for the whitewash paint mixture that we have learned that we like the best is one part paint, one part water. So we pre-measured this with a little container, and this is just um, actually flat ceiling paint. Doesn't really matter what you use. I've used exterior paint, I've used whatever. But this in this case is, as long as it's white, doesn't really matter, this is flat. All right, so that's mine. Natalia's gonna put her water in. Does it need to be flat? No, it can be anything. Okay. I think um, I've used like satin before, I've used eggshell. I think by the time you mix it halfway with water, it's just, comes out the same on the brick. And that brick is so porous, it's not gonna be shiny anyway because it's just soaking it up. All right, here we go. Um, so I usually like to use a couple of different brushes. Like these are just cheap brushes. I think these came from Dollar General, mm -hmm. like two different sizes. Maybe even we'll pull an angle brush over there. And yeah, what else? There you go. All right, so we each have a set. And then I'm going to, I like to use these little dollar shoebox containers. We're each going to have one um, with, we already had that one mixed up, so Natalia can use that. And then I'm going to use one with the paint water mixture, and then we're going to have a separate container next to it that's got just water, and I'll show you why when we get started. All right, I'm super excited. I love the blank slate that we're starting with. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna dip my brush in probably like, I'd say a third of the way in into the water and paint mixture. And then I'm just gonna get up here at the top. Now it's really drippy. And uh, the reason why I didn't bother to take this off is because I'm painting it. If I wasn't, I would have definitely covered it up really well. Okay, now, this paint mixture is really watery, so I don't think I'm gonna have to add water to push it around, but let's say if this paint was thicker, which sometimes it is, uh, depending on what type of paint you start with, you're gonna use water, just water, to kind of spread it out further. So it just all depends. Now, I wanna say this too, however it looks when you're actually applying it, like this looks almost solid, because brick is so porous and because it's gonna draw the paint water mixture into the brick, it's going to be much more translucent as it dries. So you're gonna see the tones of the brick under it. Um, it'll look more like just whites and grays, but um, it's definitely gonna be much less white as it dries. And um, honestly, I'd rather go uh, a little lighter then a little heavier because you can always add another coat, but if you go too heavy on the first coat, it's not like you can really take it away because it's porous and it'll be sucked into the brick. So just err on the side of caution and put less than what you think you need until you know how it's gonna dry. All right, Natalia's gonna jump in and we're just gonna get this wall done. There are a couple of things that you need to know, little details to make this finish look really professional. 
one of the things is you've got to get in this grout. Uh, and the way you're gonna do that is dip your brush and then intentionally go in and make sure you hit it. And even if you have to put a little water in here to spread it around, make sure you get that covered. Um, it's gonna really show up if you don't. And the other thing is use the brush, whatever motion you need to, to get in the crevices of these bricks. Every brick is different. Some brick has a lot deeper crevices. So whatever you need to do, just make it consistent and make sure you hit everything. One last piece. <laughs> Ta! What do you think? I think we're excited about this one. This came out really good. Don't leave us yet though, because we want to show you how we are going to decorate this. All right, do we like it? Yes. I love the blue too. I think it fits the whole room so well. I'm Carrie. I'm Natalia. And we're Designaholics. Please don't forget to subscribe and ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss out on all of our new content coming out. And uh, we really hope you've enjoyed this. We hope you've learned a lot. Please comment, like the video. Thanks for watching.